I'm with the giant today, the real giant, the original giant, predecessor of Jamie. Who's older are you and Jamie? Jamie. Jamie. I just hope so anyway. Oh shit. Anyway, he's a giant as well. But, um, just training some calves, really basic, just going to do some seated calf raise. We're doing an arm day today, so something a little bit different. We don't normally train arms. You'd know I don't normally train arms on their own. I was training yesterday, caught D at the end of the session. I said, well, I was, I was near the end of my push session and I thought I don't want to train my tricep stakes. I thought I could give more to them if I train them on their own. So I said to D at the end, I was like, what are you doing tomorrow? He said, arms. I was like, all right. YouTube haven't seen an arm session. Let's do a little arm session for YouTube. And then I said, if Maddie can film, might as well film it. So today, something a little bit different for you guys. I'm gonna do an arm day. Um, like I say, we're just doing a little bit of calves first. Some seated calf. The only um, things that have been going on lately, really, I just said to the guys is that, um, got off the phone to Branch. I think it was yesterday, I was in the bath, I was on the phone, I was like, hopefully it don't sound like I'm a, in an in a aqua tub. I don't know, it sounded weird. But managed to sort out that I'm gonna be in um, America for the majority of February and the beginning of March. So I'll be staying near destination Dallas um, and training. So I'm gonna start my off season properly stateside. Um, basically wanna get a hench and America's got good food. So yeah, so I'll be out there. But today, got a brand new thermal. Yes, I am a walking advertisement today. Um, we're just gonna bang some arms. It's gonna be casual, it's gonna be pretty chill, it's gonna be fun. You'll probably hear us talking some shit because that's what we do. Stay along for the ride. Lovely. While you start, I'm gonna quickly yeah. pee again because my bladder's already kicking. Like, if I've got the slightest tickle, I'm like, nah, bro. The slightest? I'm emptying that. I think it's because my prostate's probably a little bit, you know, a bit enlarged over all the years. A little bit messed up. It feels like my prostate and my bladder are like doing this. Push it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fighting for space. Because honestly, I go for a pee and then my prostate feels relaxed. But if I go for a poo, my, my bladder feels relaxed. So there's definitely something going on in there. This is not enough room. Uh... While I'm in Texas, actually, something I am going to do, obviously Chris Tuttle is who I'm staying with for the first few days. Um, he's a dietitian. He's going to actually have a look at some of my food and see. I bloat quite a lot, so we're going to have a look at my food and see if we can configure why. Just basically work out whether it's... Uh, micro bio flora or whatever the fuck you call it I'm trying to sound smart um basically all to do with like just gut health so all right let's do it lads let's do branch warren style yeah i want to hear some screaming today even though it's only arms i've been watching a little bit of branch over the last couple of days so when he gets in there he gets in there he goes what the fuck you gonna do yeah to be fair every one of these videos is pretty raw and hard i love it if you watch um, a video that's worth watching guys is um train insane very, very good. It's all in black and white. It's branch training in uh, Arlington, Texas, in uh, the uh, Metroflex. It's just pure fucking bodybuilding. Crazy form. No, not many would get away with branch's form, but he's fucking savage. That's why my session yesterday, it was like a branch session. I came in, I was like, fuck it, I'm just moving shit. Work horse. Just yeah, 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 so yeah. Fucking moving shit. Moving. I was motivated yesterday. Yeah. Wondering whether, because obviously I've been doing like a push pull split and modified. They've already made their own growth already. Yeah, and no, I feel like my arms have grown a bit. Oh, a hell of a lot. But the maybe, these thinking maybe an arm day might yeah. help. I want to know your opinions below in the comments. Arm day or no arm day? I see you regular, and I, I think your arms, the, the, the thickness, the maturity, the thickness of your arms have definitely got whole, uh, yeah. and you're only doing like, what, two exercises, two yeah. sets per exercise yeah, in the each session. You can notice, we see, in my early professional career and my late amateur, my arms were certainly quite straight from the side. Even, the tricep didn't stick out. Even even the difference between uh, the Europa yeah. and, and to now. So okay, this, so this from year. 2020 to now. Yeah, to the last two years. Yeah, Like you said, I think more, more so your tricep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Your arms as a whole yeah. have grown, but it's, yeah. it's that hang, that thickness, you know? And, and that's just been um, conscious effort of picking exercises that I feel. Literally, it's not yeah. been anything other than that. I think no. it's, and it's also not overtraining them, because uh, I used to feel like I had to hit them like twice a week or something. Yeah, like you'd come in, you'd be like, "Oh, my arms need a pump." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd do your training, you'd hit your back, yeah. and you'd be like, "Let's do a bit of arm." Let's do it, yeah. Then you do chest two days later. Oh, let's do a bit of arm because yeah. they could be bigger. Yeah. And I didn't notice much growth happening when that was the case. Now oh, I feel like if you hit them and then leave them alone, yeah. 
for a few days, like quite a, like. If I do this today, I will literally leave them alone for a week nearly. A week, yeah. That's yeah. what you kind of yeah. need to do yeah. if you're someone that genetically doesn't have good responding arms. Because at the end of the day, you're breaking down tissue in here. And if you train something too frequently, you just keep breaking down. You never let it grow. And it's understanding that process. And, and, and the size of the muscle group. Yeah, yeah. It's a small muscle as well, so it can't be, it can't butcher it like other muscle groups. And every other thing you train, there's stimulus occurring and breakdown. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's just, it's a hard one for some people because some people can like touch arms every day and, and explode and it grow because yeah. all of their kind of recovery goes to it yeah but my recovery has always been lower body yes so if i train my legs like today for the next three days my legs are hogging everything yeah so it's very you have to be smart about when to train what on your body that's with me anyway like i say if i train legs today Each individual yeah dude if i train legs today whatever i train tomorrow probably ain't going to recover because Legs are just gonna be like, I'll take that fucking carbohydrate, I'll take that protein. <laughs> Do three bicep, three tricep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well, I'm just Six gonna... exercise sort of thing, maybe? Yeah. I think what I'll do on this, I'm gonna do like a heavy, heavy, heavy one. Yeah. I'll f give you some assistance. <coughs> Second set slightly lighter. Third set slightly lighter. It's actually descend. Did if you, you know, want. I think I can hit probably some numbers on this anyway, so. Bro, no, 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 alright, mate. It's, it's okay. Just saying. Longer limbs, you know? You do what you got to the, do, bro. The leverage. Yes. And again. One more. One more. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> oh, yeah. What's, nice. what's funny about this machine, it's quite good because it's designed that you can do unilateral or dual and they feel the same weight. Yeah. Um, essentially, like, so. This won't feel lighter if I do two arms. It'll feel like that weight has been put twice. So this, that, doesn't feel heavy, uh, lighter than that, if that makes sense. So it's, it's like balanced. So you can do single arm of this weight, and then when you wish to do dual arm, it'll be just as challenging, it won't actually get easier. So you have the option of doing dual arm or single arm on here. I'm actually gonna do a dual arm set on my one. Just because, for me personally, I feel a little bit more locked in with my shoulders and stuff when I do a, 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 a dual arm. I have a tendency to, when I'm doing this curl, like kind of roll a bit, let my shoulder come yeah. out of place. So this might even be too heavy, but we'll try. Let's go. Fucking hell! Yeah, that's see, double arm is heavier. I don't, you, I don't think it? it is. Try it. <laughs> no, it feels the same. I think, I think oh, it is. Right, yeah, no, right. it's not, it's not, it's not, I, think, I told you, I'm, I'm being, I think, because my limbs are a little bit longer, just the leverage, it's, it's probably why my hamstrings are a little bit. He's protecting my credibility. <laughs> he's, like, he's protecting me, he's a good friend. I just went to lift it and I was like. It's just your shorter arms. I was like, what? <laughs> so fucking hell. Four, let's keep moving. Five, good. Six, good, come on. Seven, keep moving. Eight, and again, come on. Nine, let's go, three more, let's go. Good, 10, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Right, let's go with me, let's go, let's go. Two more, up, up, spot on. One more like that, come on, come on. Yep, yep. Oh, fuck it. When you're big enough to spot from behind then your arms are still big enough, that's how you get demasculated. Is when the big fella comes by and he's like, I'll give you a spot. Oosh. Fuck, that was weird, that was heavy, but all right, I'll tell you, it's the limb length. It's gotta be. It's the limb length. It's gotta be. Like, he does make you work hard. It's because he wants the best. Listen, do you know what it is, yeah? Especially, especially with him, and it's not saying it as a friend, because we've been boys for, Jesus, 35, we one. Long time. 10 to 15 years, we've been very good friends for. Taking the side of friendship, I know how he trains, I know how hard he trains. At the same time, I know what he's capable of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't personally feel like, just because he's my friend, I don't think there's a challenge you can or can't set him that he will not accept. There, is, there isn't anything, yeah? At the end of the day, he always wants to be the best. He always wants to be the biggest, the strongest. I think everyone knows that. Everyone that watches him, everyone that does, you know, follows him on, on social and stuff, they're, they're fully aware of what he's capable of. He's not just a pro bodybuilder, you know? He's someone that strives upon taking his body to different limits. Yeah. I like, strength I like, wise. I like strength. Yeah. I do like strength. And I, you are, you, you can't, I, I don't think there's a challenge, you know, but, you know, we're talking years and years ago of ego lifting of, dude, right. I, I was on my, I was streaming last night on Twitch, yeah? 
and I pulled up my YouTube, so I did like a little, let's observe my YouTube to his followers. And there was a video of me like, 2016 benching 200 for 10, no spot. I've I got like, videos on my phone, remember I was I like, man, you? I've been strong. Yeah. There was ones from Pink's, yeah? yeah? Yeah, There was one where I squat 240 for 12 reps yeah. eight years ago. So I've been doing like, yeah. I forget, so he knows, he's known me long enough to know that if I'm underperforming. Yeah, yeah. And I do underperform a lot because I train alone a lot. Yes. So yeah. when someone like these yeah. around, he's like, okay, there's another gear we can crank up here. Yeah, oh my God, Which you, I, you, you, have a, you have another yeah, level. Yeah. You have another level. Like and if, I think when, when there's times where you're tired and depleted and stuff, yeah. it's when the best for you to be have that level kick yeah, in yeah, and you know, yeah. someone's come along. Like you said, you know, you said it last week. You need to be around more bodybuilders, training yeah. wise, and, that's, and this, you're 100% right. This is why I'm going to, um, this is the reason yeah. why I'm going to Texas at the weekend, is to try and be around a bit more. Same minded people. Yeah, like to train at destination and hopefully maybe get some workouts in with Branch, um, some of the other Gasp guys. The hungry fuckers, you know? Like, yeah. I'm, this, I'm not saying people ain't hungry in no, here. No, but, but when it's your bread and butter yeah. and it, it, it pays your bills or gives you. You know, it's your financial, you know? Like, if I don't bodybuild, if I don't put social media out there, if I don't train, then there's an absolute financial loss. So there's, there's my desire to train for myself because I love it, but there's also that second pressure of, if I don't do this shit now and I don't train hard and I don't win or do well, then my future isn't promised on a financial standpoint. So there's, it's good that someone like these around because although he's not thinking about my financial, he's thinking about my performance. It also correlates to how well I can do in a, yeah. as a bodybuilder. Agreed. You know, if he pushes me in the gym, that can only be good for me on a on a physical basis and a financial basis. Because, like I say, it's my it's my job now. So, yeah, it's good. That's why I accept it and I take the challenge because there's reason. There's reason. Big reason. Right, let's go. To try and show you up on triceps, bro. Yeah, triceps. Yeah, it was a little bit more advanced. This country should have done strong, man. I swear. I wish you did, D. There's a lot of things I wish I did, mate. Mate, strongman would have been the one, bro. Would have been savage. Nice. Old Stoltman made it, bro. Stoltman's a freak. Yeah. He's enjoyable to watch. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, if I could flash back 10 years, push oh. this fucker into that strongman. Jeez. I wish my, uh, my mind and everything that I had, you know, knowledge-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a 10-year-old body, oh, good Lord. Not 10-year-old body, 10 years ago. 10 years ago. 10-year-old body, you can't do fuck all, bro. Wow. You'd be like, 10 oh, years ago. Hey, man. Yeah. I'm gonna play my Xbox. Two. Three, that's it, let's get moving. Four, squeeze them up. Five, keep moving. Six, and again. Seven, come on. Eight, and again, come on. Nine, and again. Good, come on. Right, two more, two more. Good, good. Good, one more, one more, one more. Up it goes, up it goes, up it goes, up it goes. Lovely, Oh, a bit of tricep. Yeah. You should, you should get tired across here because it was one to roll forward. Yeah, yeah. The more you combat and that, fight that, and keep these lats down and back, the more you're going to hit your tricep. My I'm triceps are like my hamstrings. They can, they can tire or, yeah, you know, I said to you, I could do, I could do one and exercise hit him, and, hit and hard. hit so yeah. hard. That's like my quads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do one I set of squats. I think we've squats. all got something like, you know. Dude, I, I think I could do one set of squats and be happy and move on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yes, yeah, so we're going to try and get really, yeah. Nice. I want more in the tank, lad. I feel the tricep ready to come out of the shirt. Get in there, bro. It looks like it's ready to bulge out. It's ready. Kevin the Rome, bro. Yeah, that's what they are. That's your right. Mine that's your like, right. Mine ain't like Kevin the Rome, bro. He had the tricep. Where are they hang is? Crazy tries. Nice. Good tempo, man. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go, come on. Yeah, and again, and again. Good, two more. Good, and again, and again. 
Spot on. <sighs> oh, that's it. Oh. That blew him up, didn't it? Oh, yeah. That put a bit of blood in there, boy. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, just, that's someone's bicep. <laughs> I really feel like... Well, yeah. Let's just let the lift in do the talking. <laughs> nice thing. Beautiful. Good. 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 Let's go. Good. Come on. Four more. Four more. Let's go. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Perfect. Fuck. Perfect. Fuck. I was done by that like four out. Yeah. And he's like, get four more. I was like, alright. A little bit of body English. A little bit of... I heard. About 15, 20 minutes or so ago, I heard from your, from your, your mouth, mouth. I want a hard one. I want a hard one. Oh, I, want, right. I, want a, I want a bit of branch while I'm training. That's oh, what right. I heard you say. That's why I didn't quit, bro. No quit. No quit. Come on. Two more, D. Come on, man. Make a bit of noise. Come on. Good. Nice. Right, secondary bicep. Yes. Do you want to do a hammer now? Yeah. yeah, yeah, hammer feels nice. Right, cool, cool, cool. Well, should really standing, start feeling that standing double. one seated. You want to do a standing one? Uh, yeah, I normally do standing, but I normally curl. Inwards? I would, I would do yeah. all of them on yeah. one, then all oh, okay. because I yeah. find, yeah. yeah. So you get a little bit more mental awareness of what you're training. There's only a couple of people I see do it this way. One of them, Mr. Bumstead. Always, there you go, one then. arm at a time. I think if genetically your arms aren't big, yeah. it pays to do an exercise that gives you an easier connection. Yeah. And if you keep doing one and then take one off, take one off, you lose a little bit of that. Just touch that and then we'll go straight yeah, to working yeah. set, yeah? Yeah. Here you go. Nice, and again, let's get some thick arms, man. Right, Alice. Good, come on. Good, man. That's nice. Good set. How many did you get? 15, 8, uh, 12, 12, sorry. 8, 9, 10, 2 more. And again. Spot on. 3, keep moving, keep moving. 4, keep moving. 5, 6, let's go. 7, 8, 9, 10, two more, two more. And again. Lovely. Woo! All right, Sam. Nice. Oh, yeah. Bit of tricep now again. Three. Four. Five. Three more. Two more. Last one. Yeah. Nice, yeah? Yeah, do you want to just increase like a bit a little bit? Five? Yeah, something like. So a five side. Nice and strong. Yeah. Eight to twelve, yeah? Yeah, Minimum. yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. Three. Two more like that. Two. One more like that. Yeah, nice, good. Strong. Too easy, though. Seven, spot on. Eight, nine, ten, five more. Four more. Three more. Two more. And again. Good. Oh, that's nice. We'll do one more next. The first one was kind of a warm up. Hey. Yeah, good. Whoosh. One, Whoosh. two, Whoosh. three, three oh. more, two more, Jay. Let's go, come on. And again, and again, and again. Oh, Spot yeah. on. Oh. That, 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 that hamstring ham. I ain't got it yet. It's exactly what hand. TRT, bro. What's that, bro? <laughs> Good. 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 Two more, two more, two more. Squeeze. Another one, another one, another one. 
One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Not there yet. Yeah. No. Not even close, let's go. Not even close. Right, five more, let's go. Four more. Four more. Three more like that, let's go. Two more. And again, and again. Spot on, spot on. Good. I felt good. Full. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, come on, three more. No fucking about. On number two, D, number two. Good again. Squeeze it up, squeeze it up. Yeah. Oh. Woo. Spot on. Let's go. Six. Ooh. Keep it moving like that, that's it. Seven. Oh. Come on, mate, come on. Eight. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Nine. Oh. Okay, come on. Let's make it count. Ten. Five, oh. five reps. Let's go. Last five. Come on. Four more. Let's go. Work. Come on. Three more. Three more. Let's go. Two more like that. Control. Two more. Two more. Last one. Up it goes. Up it goes. Spot. Standing. Oh well, we were quite tall. That's right. Just come out side a bit. They come right down and then yep. open up as much as possible, yeah? Good, so keep going for a minute. Just get a little bit of fatigue. Yeah, good. Woo. I feel good. Yeah. Hey, keep moving. Oh, getting harder this, Sam. Let's go, let's go. Nine, and uh, again. Let's go. Up. Two more with me. Two more. Oh. Two more. Let's go. Full stretch. Up. One more. One more. One more like that. Let's go. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Yeah. yeah. That was hard, wasn't it? Oh, we'll just finish with um, the regular now. So we do three bicep, four tricep. So this is the last tricep. So we do regular. I find this hits a little bit more on the outer tricep. We won't go mad heavy on this. This this, this, this hits a bit more here. Yeah, yeah. So if we just like lock it in like that. Yeah. Only go heavy enough that you can push it out wide. Yeah. So if you can't get it out like that, it's too heavy. Stay upright as well. Yes, that's it. Go for the bottom one time. I'm gonna get you to go on these ones instead now as well. So go on these. I can't. Uh, I'm too tall, look. You go on your knees. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, wait. Oh, yeah. So what we need to do? Yeah, well, Light, yeah, yeah. just go like that. So none of this moves. That's it. You're just thinking about pushing down. That's it. Try and get them dead straight as well. Yeah. Making the big fella bend over. If you want less weight, let me know. That's fine. That's it. Just use the fucking tricep. Restoration your arms there. Good. Good. Spot on. Good. Finish it. Finish it. Down. Perfect. Yeah. It's a really light movement. Yeah. Can't be heavy on that. So it's just literally just locking like that and going. Finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it, and then let it come up slow. Bend that on. Fire on the way up. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it's like no weight at all. Do you feel good though? That's ridiculous. Just got one more on it. Come on, come on, come on. At the bottom. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Hold it, mate. Spot on. We'll do a stretch now on the, on the tricep. It takes like two minutes. We just grab a single dumbbell, overhead sitting down. 60 seconds with each arm. That should see us. Yeah, I wasn't going to try and do a rep. Yeah, I was like, no. <laughs> One side always feels better as well. This one feels better. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Oh! It's arms, bro. It's Chalk Farm. Chalk Farm, Sam. Where's the Louis Moreland Chalk Farm? Chalk Farm, Louis Moreland special. <laughs> so, we kind of covered everything there with the arms. For bicep, you do something from a hammer perspective, something from a regular supinated grip perspective as well. You could do a pronated reverse curl, but you kind of get that out of a hammer curl anyway. Yeah, um, in a hammer, yeah. Yeah. And then obviously with triceps, combination of training things with your arm straight down by your side, and a couple of things with your head, uh, arm over your head. Overhead. That way you just cover all bases, really. The good thing about the overhead movements is there's no, um, there's very minimal assistance in other muscle groups. Obviously when we're doing our press downs, when we get tired, a bit of chest, yep. a bit of shoulder. Um, but on the overhead, literally when you fail, you fail. So it's all triceps, so. That's all you gotta do on arms if you're gonna do an arm day, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. It's not very taxing. No. It's like, I get why people don't do arm days because yeah. they feel like they haven't trained. But at the same time, I believe you know, the essentials do so now, like you said. Yeah. You probably won't not touch them now for a, while, a, a week or so. Exactly. I'll be honest, yeah. you, for me, I haven't done an arm day by itself in such a long period of time now. I probably won't touch them now to at least midweek next week now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, by the time I do like a... I think it depends how much you uh, like being in the gym as well. Yeah. If you like being in the gym a lot, then an arm day opens up a day for you where it can be in between two very kind of, like intense a, days. Like a, yeah, like a... Like a active rest kind day. Of an active rest day, yeah. Let's yeah, say definitely. you train back yesterday and you want to do your legs tomorrow. Yep. But you still want to be in the gym today. Yep. Arms is kind of a nice filler. 100% agree. Um, 100% agree. And, and I wouldn't say you won't make progress from that. No. As long as your nutrition, your supplementation is all on point. That's really what dictates whether you recover and look better. The only, when you, often when you don't progress, it's what you're doing at home. Not necessarily what you're doing in the gym. There's a lot of exercises that work. It's harder to get that wrong, I feel, than it is to get your nutrition wrong. A lot of people under eat, go to bed early and forget to have their last meal. Yeah. That happens over a course of a week. The seven meals you've missed out on, it really does affect recovery. So I think um, the point I'm trying to make is that often, if you're finding you've stalled, have a look at what you're doing outside the gym. You can do a lot of different training splits and it will work. I don't think there is a training split that is the no, best. No. So. And to change it up now and again, obviously, it's only going to shock the body. Yeah, shock the so you system. stay interested. Yes. Because another thing is, as well, you want to enjoy the gym, guys. You don't want to come in here and feel like it's a chore. Coming here, doing the same thing. Yeah, if you've done a push pull program for yeah. 12 weeks and you're like, you know what, I'm bored, I want to change this up, yeah. go to a little bit more of a split. You know, do your uh, chest, do your back, do your arms, do your legs. You're going to make progress five ways. The only time you don't make progress is when you're not in the gym and you're not eating. So just be in the gym, do what you fancy doing. Yeah, that was a good session. Brilliant. What's the plan for the rest of the day, big lad? What are you doing? Sleeping. Sleeping? I'm going to go home and sleep. Good lad. And eat. Eat, bruv. What are you having, eat. a cheat meal today? No, not today. Oh, Only on leg day. Pussy, bruv. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's all we need to cover today. Any final words, Steve? Any final words? Anything you want to say? Watch out for this guy. Simple as that. Watch out. They've been watching that for about five years. I'm still slowly, still slowly creeping. This is, this is, I think now he's, like I said in the beginning, not, not as a friend, not as anything else, not as a close friendship, but someone I can see from outside point of view, how hard he works, how dedicated he is. And, you know, he speaks for himself. He's kind of now found a formula that is working. So this year, obviously plans are whole year off to see what sort of growth, what gains he can make ready for next year. No rush, man. No rush. 33? Oh, a couple of years, yeah. Loads so. of enjoyment. Yeah, man. Hopefully. All right. One thing I will say. Do you want to get the um, the thermal? The new one. Glass link below. If you need anything from Tough Wraps, wrist support, sleeves, links below. You want to come into Discord, have a chat, post your check-in pictures, talk to the community. That link's in chat. If you want to come see me stream on Twitch, again, link's in chat. If you want smart clothing, shirts, really nice shirts, check out Louis Arjuna. Again, link in the description. All of the things that I'm involved with, link's in the description. There are some discount codes in there. Some of the links automatically qualify you for discount. 
Again, I want you guys to have stuff that you like. It helps me, it helps you. Mutual. I appreciate all the support so far. Um, and I'll see you on the next one, which may be something in Dallas. So I'll see you in a bit. Enjoy. Peace, guys.